Welcome to E3 Rehab. I'm Dr. Mark Sertica, a physical therapist. Today, I'm going to discuss the anatomy and function of the multifidus and discuss the best exercises to train it based on the research. The multifidus, or multifidi, plural, is a multi-segmental muscle that spans from the sacrum and pelvis all the way up to the cervical spine, but is most prominent in the lumbar spine. It's one of the deepest muscles of this region and is believed to aid in local stability and control because of its attachments to each spinous process throughout. It primarily contributes to extension and compression, but secondarily produces lateral flexion to the same side and rotation to the opposite side. It's also often described for its role in resisting motion, such as rotation or flexion. For example, if you were to throw a medicine ball only using your obliques, the obliques would cause rotation and flexion of the spine. Therefore, the multifidi resist that flexion so a more pure axial rotation can occur. So what are the best exercises for training the multifidus? Well, probably one of the most common is the bird dog exercise because there is a component of anti-flexion and anti-rotation as you're holding that position. But Souza and colleagues in 2001 concluded that the intensity of muscle recruitment during the bird dog was not sufficient to provide a strengthening effect in healthy subjects, even when cuff weights were applied to the arm and leg. Ekstrom and colleagues in 2007 found similar low levels of EMG activity in the multifidus during the bird dog and other common rehab exercises such as the bridge, unilateral bridge, and side plank. And a study by Daniels et al. showed that low-level stabilization exercises don't actually produce hypertrophy in the multifidus. What the research does consistently show is that weighted compound exercises like deadlifts and squats outperform these other movements, even squats and deadlifts at 50% of your one rep max. A systematic review in 2013 by Marticello and colleagues further reinforced this by stating that lumbar multifidus EMG activity is greater during free weight exercises compared with ball or device exercises. Based on this research, what are my practical recommendations? If you want to train the multifidus, you don't have to look much further than barbell deadlifts and back squats, but I do recognize that not everyone wants to perform these movements, and that's okay. So it's more about understanding the biomechanics of these exercises and knowing that relatively heavy movements that challenge lumbar extension will probably be sufficient for activating the multifidus. You could do barbell back squats and deadlifts, or perhaps Romanian deadlifts, barbell bent over rows, and other similar exercises. In most cases, heavy compound exercises are my preference because they are time efficient, easy to objectively measure and progress, and as Marticello points out, have multiple health and fitness benefits such as improving body composition, muscular strength, bone density, and cardiovascular health compared to something like a bird dog. Now, you absolutely can still perform more isolated exercises, and they can have some of their own unique benefits depending on your goals, but just make sure they're sufficiently challenging. Great options include reverse hyperextensions, back extensions on a Roman chair or GHD, pile-off presses, medicine ball throws, or some variations of these. We have a video on the rotational variations that I'll link in the description, and a free exercise library that includes the other options. The multifidus gets a lot of attention in the rehab space because of changes in its structure and function associated with low back pain, but I don't necessarily think you need to take an overly complex approach in trying to restore that structure and function. I'm not saying that you can't perform bird dogs or other lower level exercises, or saying that they haven't helped you or others in the past, but simple progressive exercises through various movements and ranges of motion will adequately challenge the motor control, stability, strength, etc., of the multifidus. And the last thing to point out is that trying to strengthen a singular muscle shouldn't be the focus of low back pain anyway, because low back pain is quite complex and multifactorial. Pick exercises that are sustainable and complement your goals and help you return to your meaningful activities. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, please hit that like button, subscribe, turn on notifications, and leave any questions or comments down below. And make sure, head over to our website, e3rehab.com, 
where you can find our programs, podcasts, and other information. Peace.